the policy towards the Tamil people uh, by the government of President Rajapaksi has resulted in a nightmare for both Sinhala and Tamil people in Sri Lanka. Uh, massive repression by the Sri Lankan state against individuals and groups uh, who have stood against its chauvinist uh, policies. Now, after the defeat of the Tamil Tigers, the nightmare continues for the Tamil people, especially in the north of Sri Lanka, with 300,000 people forcefully detained in camps, including 31,000 children where uh, disease and malnutrition are rife. Now a new horror threatens which reports the Rajapaksi government plans to settle Sinhala people in the east and north of Sri Lanka. In other words, to colonise the areas where the Tamil-speaking people are in the majority. That would be a recipe for, uh, of her communal strife in the future. The Rajapaksi government is in fact a dictatorship with a very thin democratic uh, veneer. I welcome the opportunity to this resolution to condemn it. I do have a reservation about paragraph 4 because the main terrorism, in fact, has come from the Rajapaksi government against the people. And, but while as a socialist I believe that guerrillaism in the conditions of Sri Lanka will not bring a solution, the Tamil people do have a right to defend themselves against military uh, re repression. But the best way to defend the Tamil people is through a united struggle of Tamil, Tamil and Sinhala workers and poor, against the current government and its neoliberal policies and for the socialist transformation of Sri Lankan society where the marvellous resources of that country could then be, be to, used for the benefit of the entire population. I am proud to be associated with the United Socialist Party in Sri Lanka, a sister party of the Socialist Party in Ireland, which has heroically stood against the chauvinism of the government for the rights of the Tamil and Sinhala people and the rights of the Tamil people to self-determination.